Hey, good morning, Shay. So this is Braden from Pacific Toyota. Hey, as promised, just doing a quick virtual tour on our 2017 Toyota Corolla ZR sitting here in front of me with only about 57,000 Ks on it uh, for 25,990 drive away. Look, like I said, just a really, really good chance for me to take you through the whole car in a bit more detail. Um, any marks or you know blemishes I can find, I'm going to show you, uh, highlight them for you. It's unreal service history in this thing. This was literally locally owned and serviced by us its entire life. So you're not going to find a better, well looked after car. Uh, but look, we're going to jump right into it. So before we do, uh, just a bit of an idea who we are. So we are Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Uh, lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards up here. I'm currently at 77 Mulgrave Road. Um, we've got another one further up at um, a little bit out of town at 251 Mulgrave Road where we also house our uh, um, Toyota and Lexus new car showrooms as well as our obviously our spare parts departments the whole works as well but uh, you can see our two-story showroom up there as well so look we're gonna get stuck into it uh, anything that you can't quite see in the video please let me know and I'll get some photos through for you instead so starting from the very very front we did have a fair bit of uh, wet weather over the weekend so apologies if there's a little bit of dirt like stuff like that on there and stuff like that there's a little tiny stone chip just down here on the actual bumper uh, if they are a concern for you stuff like that please let me know and we'll get some um, see, we'll talk to management and see if we can maybe even get those touched up for you. Uh, as we come across, looks like there was a little stone chip there, but it's already been touched up, which is just good, uh, which is awesome. And a little one just there as well. But not too bad as we come down across the front there. Very clean down here. And right across over that wheel arch as well. So down to that front wheel. I've just got those turned for you so we can try and see those treads absolutely massive amounts of tread left on there same with all those wheel arches as well extremely clean through there just a, such a good looking car these hey now it's just starting to rain so don't stress that is just water and it's literally starting to rain so we're going to try and rush this a little bit <laughs> but no chips or cracks in the windscreens that 25,990 is drive away for you uh, you also got those massive, massive moon roofs, and these guys too, they're great. I'll show you how they work once we jump in. But super clean as we come down the back here. Looks like a tiny sort of hairline sort of scuff just there. Uh, fuel is obviously, obviously is on the passenger side. I'll show you where the release is for that once we jump inside. Uh, we've got this obviously the front uh, rear passenger wheel. Looks like a little bit of gravel rash up in the corner. But not too bad. For the rear door here. Let's show you the inside of this one as we come round. Child locks on uh, on both rear doors, electric uh, windows on on both rear doors. You got those main entries. That's those little protections. So that's just a little piece of plastic that just stops things sort of catching on that corner for you. you the build plates, uh, genuine mats the whole way around as well. I'll just lift these up. That's the beauty of those genuine ones. They do stick into place for you. Right across these back seats. So 60 40 split in these guys, so they will drop straight down. You got the child angle points on here, here, and here, as well as the ISO fixes in there, too. We've got the little argument separated in the center there with the cup holders and that. So very tidy. Like I said, that massive, massive moon roof up there. Taking down the rest of this one. Now, I know you were asking about the keyless entry, so we've got that on the both front doors, so the passenger in the front. So you push that one there, it's going to lock it, it's going to tuck those mirrors in for you. As soon as we come back along and put the hand in there, it's going to unlock that for you. So really, really handy. So I've got the keys in my pocket. It just makes life very uh, nice and easy. Just want to show you down that last rim. So we'll jump inside here, just quickly show you that service history while we're over this side. Okay, and very clean over here. So while we gain just the, um, like I said, genuine Corolla mats the whole way through. So obviously being the ZR, you get all the sport leather seats. They just look so good. Uh, dash mats right across the top. We, we leave all that sort of stuff in there. So if um, there's no cracks or anything like that, but any of that sort of thing, we just leave in there. Same with the floor mats. Uh, service history is all here. Like I said, was a private owner. I can't show you that first page because it's got their contact details on there. Um, and this will be uploaded to YouTube, but can show you down here. So we got obviously the first service through us, 10,000 kilometers at 2018. Next service by us, 20,000 Ks at 2019. By us, 24,000 Ks and a half at 2019. 32,000 Ks at 2020. Next one going from 30 up to 44, 2021. 
And lastly, December 2021 at 57,000 Ks through us. So literally full Toyota service history. Can't get any better than that. That's um, exactly the sort of cars that we do look for. So I'll just take it right over that back as well. That rear window, I'll open this one up in a second for you too. And that rear bumper. Extremely clean underneath there. Pop this one up, so you got a little reverse kinder under there, but again, I'll show you how that works once we jump inside. Heaps amount of space. Like I said, the 60-40 split, so this side can drop down. You get the child anchor points on all three of those seats as well. A little parcel shelf in the back here that pops out, gives you a little bit of extra room if you do want it. Uh, we've got the lights up in here, little hooks for, um, for your groceries, stuff like that. Tie down points up in the back here as well, and down in the front there too. So we've got four tie down points all through the back. This little strap lifts up, so you've got heaps of storage underneath there too. And of course that spare wheel and jack and tools all around the outside there. So a really neat setup. Very clean across the inside of that too. Drop that down for you. So I'll just squeeze in past these little trees. So very nice as we come across here. So the driver's side rear wheel this time. Uh, it's looking very good across that rim. Same thing. Said child locks on both sides, so really good family cars at the same time. Uh, it looks like a tiny little sort of scuffing there just on the entry point. They might have caught something as they are putting it in and out of the car. Again, the floor mats the whole way around. And like I said, you got that 60% split this side with both those anchor points there if you need them. So really, really handy setup. And that one there as well. Uh, looks like a little bit of storage in there, a little bit of accessory plug down there too. So we've got a little sort of hairline ones just in the door. It looks like they've already been touched up. Uh, just these two here, so it looks like they've already been touched up. Again, you've got the keyless entry on this one here. So again, I'm going to lock that driver's side, tuck those mirrors in for you. And of course, we can unlock that as well as we come around. Again, super clean through here. So driver's side, obviously having the electric windows for all four doors, central locking and window locks there for you too. Very clean across here considering it's the driver's side. Normally the driver's side gets that you know, high tra traffic amount there, uh, coming in and out. But that's looking very clean. Genuine Corolla mats there too. Height adjustments here. So short sure people like me sit there and crank that right up. A little bit of wear there. And obviously across the leather just from the main, the driver jumping in and out. Uh, that one there is going to be the adjustment for the back. And you've got a lumbar support there too. So I'm going to jump in and start this up. Yeah. So we got two genuine Toyota Corolla keys there for you, so your central locking's on both of those there and there so once these are inside the car, you've got that foot on the brake push that button on the right hand side there the ignition we're going to start this up so you get a little welcome menu 57,257 k's as it sits right now so no engine lights, no dash lights, nothing to be concerned about with these ones, we simply won't touch uh, have them on the yard like that uh, on the steering wheel itself being the ZR you got little paddle shifts so once we're changing gears you got the plus side and the minus side over here so that you can upshift and downshift from the steering wheel uh, if you decide you want to have a little bit of fun with the car things like that uh, headlights all up on here so you've got automatic setting they're going to turn on and off as they need to otherwise you can use your parkers headlights high beams and blinkers uh, all manually as you want otherwise at automatic the headlights are going to turn on and off as they want so daytime nighttime all that sort of stuff uh, over on the left hand side here all your wipers are as normal Bluetooth controls, radio controls are all up here on the steering wheel. So you can answer and hang up the phones there, flip between AM, FM, Bluetooth, all that sort of stuff from the main display up on the steering wheel while you're driving. Over on the right hand side here is going to control the little displays down there. So you can jump between your little sub menus, so you, um, obviously your compass, uh, your lane departure controls, so you can adjust that, the sensitivity of it and that sort of thing from there. Uh, your trip settings uh, and all your notifications there as well. So a really, really handy setups. So that's all your safety stuff there too. Cruise control is tucked away behind the back here, so on and off with that, set and reset with a little tab down there. Uh, as we come around, your forward collision mitigation system, so your pre-collision systems. Um, so basically it's going to help you brake if somebody slams on the brakes in front of you. You can adjust the sensitivity of that by pushing that button as well, depending on what sort of traffic you're in. Uh, down here, so the mirror control, so left side of the car, right side of the car, and a little power file button there too, so it's going to tuck those mirrors in if you ever need to tuck them in and get a, bit, a little bit more space next to the car. 
Uh, Aircon controls are obviously the easy dials. One's in the center there too. Everything's all touchscreen through the middle. Hazards are right up there, nice and accessible. Uh, main button, like I said, so you got your, your home button here is gonna bring you to this screen. So you got your three favorites. So for example, you got your phone set up, radio set up, or whatever's playing, and of course your sat nav as well. Click into any one of them, it's gonna enlarge that and bring it to your home, to the full screen. Your little ups button there is gonna bring you back to those main ones as well. So you can set your navigation, your audio, so FM, AM, Bluetooth, the whole works. Telephones, uh, everything through there as well. Aircon controls are all down here, so fan speed, temperatures, so independent as well. So I can sit here freezing my guts off, turn the heater up, and the passenger can have totally independent uh, aircon on the left-hand side of the car as well. So really, really nice and easy to maintain there. Uh, of course, where you want it coming out on the rest of it. Heaps of little storage parts, compartments in this one too. So I'll just move that out of the way so you can see it properly. So you got a little 12 volt plug there. You got AUX and USB in there. And of course your heated seats uh, for the left and right side of the car as well. So you can crank those right on high, low, whatever you want to do. Great for pizzas and uh, takeaway containers, but it's actually really good for um, uh, a lot of back pain and longer drives and things like that too. It actually relieves a lot of that pain. A uh, little bit of storage in here as well. That goes right back. That's quite deep, so good for the phones and things like that if they are charging off those points. Uh, I'll chuck that into reverse to show you that little camera that was in the back there too. So you can see the rear bar of the car. So you never actually should really back into anything because you can physically see exactly where everything is. But of course always use your mirrors. Uh, you've got a couple like sports mode down here too so we can flick that, jump between. Uh, you can see a little red notion up there. So just between the sports mode and your standard. Uh, so if you want to you know, overtake cars, catch up on highways, anything like that, it's going to let you do it. Normal genuine handbrake, cup holders in the middle. Storage there for coins and things, and a massive amount of storage in there too. So, really, really well set up cars. Just absolutely stunning things. Um, heaps and heaps of features as well. Oh, of course, I forgot your moonroof. Hold that button there. That's going to crank that thing right back, all the way back to the very, very front. And all the way back. That is a massive, massive moonroof. Have a look at that. So days like this where it's raining, they're pretty damn cool. So again, you just gotta hold that to bring it back in and that'll come all the way in. So while I'm here, you got the adjustable seat belts there too, the drop down handles, uh, airbags all the way through the pillars, the curtain ones in the seats, the, uh, the dash, the, obviously the steering wheel as well. Um, as we jump out, I'm gonna leave this running because I wanna show you under the bonnet before we finish this up. But you can see down here, so we've got the little lever there for the bonnet. Fuel releases just down there for you. Like I said, that is over the passenger side. I'll just pop this one. That beeping's just letting you know that the keys are in my hand, but the car's still running. It's a little reminder. And that's a little motor as well. So batteries, everything's all been checked. Uh, like I said, literally full service history through us. You're not gonna find better around here. Very, very clean through the inside there too. So look, hey, that actually concludes our virtual tour. Thanks heaps for your inquiry again. Can't wait to hear your feedback soon.